What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media one and we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the Desview T2 teleprompter. This thing is super cool. It's an 8 inch remote control teleprompter for a smartphone, tablet, DSLR camera. It's got a beam splitter 7030 glass for interviews, video programs, live streaming, presentations. It's designed to shoot with DSLR smartphone and supports smartphone tablets prompting tablets under 8 inches. It supports wide angle lens, shooting with wide angle lens not less than 35 millimeters, and it's got the industry standard 7H hardness beam split glass with 7030 light visible transmission, making the prompter more clear. We'll get into some more details about this thing, but first we are going to start with the unboxing. So this is it guys. This is the teleprompter and it comes in this big box here. And it's very nice. It's kind of a premium looking box. Classically, I do not have a knife. So we are just going to split this thing open here. Wherever the plastic seems to be thicker is where I like to open it. And pull this apart. You're just going to get that out of the way. And it comes in this nice clean white box. Kind of has a view of it on the front. And it is the T2, which is cool. So I'm going to pop open the lid. As soon as we open the lid, you can see that there's some reading material here. So we got that. And then we got this little box that comes out of the foam, which is nice looking. We're going to set that aside for now. And then we got the foam here, and it seems to be packed pretty tight inside of there. So this is going to be the setup. And then there's another little piece of foam slit here with the remote, which is cool. And that's it. You can see the foam there. It's all packed nicely. There's some foam at the bottom as well, which is good. Keeps it from breaking on shipping. We like good packaging. So this is the, the viewer, just kind of nice looking. It does have a couple push, little uh, text there that say push. And this is supposed to be adjustable. Now, this one is supposed to be used for a tablet. So you want to use a tablet for this. It's got this little ring on the bottom that you can tighten and adjust there. Then it's got these two little slots. And inside of here, this little black box. We got all the things to put it together. So this is a 49 millimeter it says cup and there's some different types of foam inside of here probably adjustable for whatever device you're using because this will work with a camera or a phone which makes it super super nice because as we all know phones nowadays have really really good recording capabilities. And then there's some more foam here we do have a 67 millimeter and then it comes with a 82 millimeter and a 58 and a 72 and a 55 and a 52 62 and a 77 so lots and lots of adapters uh, there's another piece of foam here with a little slit you can see right there and then inside of here, this is what's going to hold your tablet. It's spring-loaded. It's pretty firm. And then it's got this little adjustable thumb screw here as well. And this does slide up and down. So that's for making some more adjustments. Comes with a nice clean cloth. Orange, which I really like. And then there's a couple screws inside of here. There's three screws. And then it does have this, this adapter here as well. And this is spring-loaded as well. And then there's a couple little holes where you can screw things into. You can see it there. And then it adjusts this way. So there's, there's this spring and then this spring. So we're just going to have to figure out which fits best. And then we have our little screwdriver, which is cool. They give you a little screwdriver. It's nice. little add-on. 
So nothing too fancy there. We're going to put this thing together. Hey guys, it appears that we do have everything together at this point in time. You can see from the phone here that we do have it lined up properly. We got it pressed up right against this foam pad here. Basically, is how we have it set up. And then we have our tablet down here, which is going to serve as the teleprompter, and it's going to mirror off of this display here. And that's going to give us our, <coughs> our prompt or our script. And it's a pretty good size display here. I mean, it's good size. It says it's eight inches, and I believe you're gonna get every bit of that out of it. The one thing that I'm not a huge fan of, and I don't know if this could be adjusted with, with uh, you know, a little bit of effort, but I don't like that the phone is just in this orientation because if I want to shoot 16 by 9, I need the phone to be this way, right? So this up and down is not going to work for me if I'm shooting in, in 16 by 9 ratio. This is more of like a 4 by 3 ratio that you would get for like a TikTok video or something like that. If I'm shooting something for YouTube, for example, I need the phone to be sideways. And so this isn't going to work because there's no way to adjust this to where the phone is going to be sideways in, in this particular mount. Now I could probably rig something up because it does have some screw holes at the bottom here. And those will allow you to mount it to a tripod assembly. So I could probably rig something up uh, to where I can get it to shoot correctly. Um, really hard to say. I don't know if you can see that mirroring off of the iPad there inside the camera. But uh, if you look, you can see it pretty clearly. It's got a good display to where I can't really see the, the phone behind it, which is very nice because I have several teleprompters and the one that I'm using now, you can, you can definitely see the camera behind the teleprompter. It's not a huge distraction, but it is there. So it would take some playing around and adjust to get this thing exactly where I need it to be. Um, for me to be able to use it that way. And basically we're just looking at like a two-way glass here to where it can shine through the back side of the glass. And then I could still see what's on the front side. And like I said, it does pretty good right there. Um, let's just go to photo. It does pretty good right there, but it's in the wrong orientation. So that's going to be a problem. It's kind of a little bit disappointing, not majorly, because I do think I could rig something out. It does also have this cover um, that you can take off and protect it, which is nice. And then it does come with this little remote. We haven't got that out of the box yet, so we might as well do that next. Um, all of these little adapters here let, allow you to change the, uh, the size of whatever camera or whatever you're adapting to it. And I kind of like that because if you have a 49 millimeter, this will screw right onto the face of the camera. And then this slides up inside of there and adapts so that you just get the camera, which is nice. Uh, if you're using this for a camera, it's not going to be so bad because the camera seems like it will mount even better. If I take this off, so you gotta pull off this. If I take the phone off, get rid of that. You can see the hole there, right? And so there's this little thumb screw. Let's get rid of that as well. There's this little thumb screw here, you take that off, and that allows you to pull this mount out of the way. So now that's gone. All right, so if we're doing it with a camera, the camera style, the camera's just going to screw, the face of the camera's just going to screw right onto this threaded area. Then you slide this out, just slides right out. Turn this up and you slide it in there. Just like that. Now your camera's being held by this mount. So I don't know exactly how strong that's going to be, but I think it'll be supportive enough. I don't see an issue happening with that. You know, and they give you tons and tons of different adapters based off of what size camera you have as well, which makes it pretty nice um, because they do give you different options. The one on the bottom seems to be for the phone. The one on the top seems to be if you're using for a tablet for the teleprompter. Um, tablet's going to be a bigger display, which is going to be easier to read. So I think a lot of people will go that route um, with that as well. And so let's get to the remote now.
we completely bypass. Well, that foam has left a pretty good haze here up on the desk, so pop this out. You can see here, there's the little remote. And it's comfortable to fit in your hand. It's got a joystick on top. Uh, it says game and it also says key. So I'm guessing that this could be used for other things. It does have a little uh, trigger up on the top, which is cool. And then it's got all these buttons here, A, B, X, Y, and then a pause button and then an on off button. And then it's got this little slide out here where you gotta put in two AAA batteries, which it did not come with. I hate when things don't come with batteries, but it doesn't. So we have to get some to test this out. I'm sure it'll work just fine. Mostly you're going to use this for play pause when you're reading the text and you want to stop it or when you want to slow it down or speed it up. So that's going to be handy. Um, for my other teleprompters, you can use things like this. This is a, uh, this is just a PlayStation controller. So there's, there's different options as well, but uh, it's cool that it comes with something. Most of them don't. And these things are not cheap. Um, teleprompters can range way up there in the price range of $5,000. So this one's, I think, I believe this one was under um, $250. Uh, I will put the price up here, but um, they can get really, really expensive. So for the price range, this thing's probably going to be okay. Like I said, if, if I use it with my camera, I don't see it being an issue. If you use it with a phone, it might be an issue if you want to film in the 16 by 9 which is going to be your sideways ratio on your phone that's the only issue i see there if anyone else can tell me a better way to uh to mount this or they see a better way that i don't see then go ahead and leave a comment below always want to interact with you guys uh, i think that's really cool so that's it guys it's a it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool little teleprompter and i think it will serve well and I will probably be using it in some future videos. Uh, we do have a little bit of a tech specs on it. So you guys already know we pulled out all the, the rings, but it does have a 49, a 52, a 55, a 58, 62, 67, 72, 77, and an 82 millimeter lens adapter. Holy cow, that's a lot, but that's good. Uh, gives you lots of different options uh, as far as that goes. Um, the, the remote is Bluetooth and it is included, which is cool. Um, you can use it with a free app named Best View from the App Store and Apple and Google Play, so it does work with Android as well. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see some more uh, tech reviews. We're going to have plenty more out there. I will, uh, I will definitely leave... Uh, uh, description below so that you guys can purchase this yourself if this is something that you're interested in doing and